Sample Tank 4 is fully compatible with Sample Tank 3 instruments and samples. In fact, it's more than just compatible. Sample Tank 4 has a dual engine architecture where we play back legacy Sample Tank 3 instruments in their native Sample Tank 3 format. This includes Syntronic and Miroslav Philharmonic 2 instruments as well, since those use the Sample Tank 3 format. There's no conversion or importing involved. This is also true for legacy Sample Tank 2 instruments that were converted in Sample Tank 3. If you converted your Sampletron, Sample Moog, Sonic Synth, or any expansion tank libraries to use in Sample Tank 3, those will play the same way in Sample Tank 4. You can use the new Sample Tank 4 effects and players with your Sample Tank 3 instruments. The effects rack and player pages look exactly the same, regardless of the instrument version. There is, however, one major difference that you should be aware of when using Sample Tank 3 instruments in Sample Tank 4. The Edit Panel. The Edit Panel looks different for Sample Tank 3 instruments than it does for Sample Tank 4 instruments. This is because the synthesis engines for the two versions are quite different. On the most basic level, the new Sample Tank 4 engine has four envelopes, six LFOs, and a user programmable modulation matrix. The Sample Tank 3 engine, on the other hand, has two envelopes, two LFOs, and no modulation matrix, so the edit panel for each type of instrument is structured accordingly. When you open the edit panel for a Sample Tank 3 instrument, you'll see the ST3 Legacy Instrument badge at the upper left of the panel, just below the Zone button. There's also a key difference in the way modulations work in Sample Tank 3 versus Sample Tank 4. In Sample Tank 3, the modulations, such as filter envelope amount, scale the destination's value. So in this example, the filter envelope scales the filter cutoff frequency. The filter envelope amount control determines how much the filter envelope will scale the cutoff frequency. In Sample Tank 4, the modulations add to or subtract from the destination's value. This is more like what we're used to with classic analog subtractive synthesis. When you use the modulation matrix in Sample Tank 4, it's the same way. The modulations you create here will either add to or subtract from the destination's value. You should be aware of this difference in modulation methods when working with Sample Tank 3 instruments in the Edit Panel. For Sample Tank 3 instruments, this is the filter and pitch sliders in Envelope 2, the amount knobs in the LFO section, and the entire velocity section. Remember that these controls scale the destination amount rather than add to or subtract from them as they do in Sample Tank 4.